Hi everyone, this is Jose from Pristine Painters, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how much it actually costs to paint your home. Why don't you come inside with me? I first wanna welcome you to this beautiful location that we have over here in Brooklyn, New York. The reason why we chose this location because it has so many details. Some of you may or may not have, but that's perfectly fine. Um, we just wanna give you a sense of an idea of how much everything will cost as far as everything. Let's start first with the foyer. One thing I want to highlight with you is, is the, the wainscoting that you have over here. The wainscoting is, is this to here. It's with all the panelings that they have on this part over here. Um, one thing that may or may not affect the price is whether or not you want to refinish it or not. Meaning like if there's deep paint drips or they have um, bumps or it's not a smooth surface and you want us to make it a smooth surface, those are the type of things that will affect the price as far as painting wainscoting. So most foyer areas have like different features and stuff. Some don't have. This particular home has is in the foyer is the wall feature that they have over here, which is the mirror. Some, some people may have, some people may not have, but um, just to go into detail that this home over here has additional trimming around the mirror. Also, it will come to, to the point if you want to refinish the trims or if you actually just want to just paint it over. Basically for us, we will have to do prep work as far as the mirror goes, tape things up um, as far as that goes. But um, also it has a lot of traditional um, old fashioned type of details as far as the coat hangers over here, which looks like it needs another coat of paint on, on this part. So now we have a radiator over here on the foyer area. For situations like this, it's never a good idea to put um, latex paints on radiators Reason being because once it starts heating up and stuff, it causes cracking and peeling. So the best option to actually do something for these type of substrates is a product called DTM, which is direct to metal. It's actually good for, for the metal, it lasts very long, and especially for, for um, radiators like this, it does a great job as far as that goes. Um, as you can see on top of the covers on this part, it's very rusted out, um, has a lot of you know pieces over here that, that are not properly um, painted and stuff. Um, so generally for something like that, it will be an added cost to sand everything down, make everything good, put a metal primer on top of it, and then put um, basic DTM paint. An example of a DTM paint is um, a product called Rust-Oleum. So Rust-Oleum also has those type of products that it could definitely um, take care of issues and alleviate problems as far as radiators go. What we include in the prices is everything inside in between the joints as far as the radiators inside inside out and the sides um, to be painted. Also, if there's any type of, if you have a radiator cover that has any type of damages as well, that we, we can also smooth that out for you, put metal-based primer on top of it and then paint it as far as that goes. And now moving along to the other one, we're gonna talk about the front entry door. So here we have a front entry door. Um, what may affect the price as far as painting a front entry door are the um, type of finishes that you have on the door is it does it have a lot of details and stuff like that. Um, the type of material also is also a key because is it made out of wood? Is it made out of metal? Um, those are big differences as well as what we have to do to paint the doors. Um, also is the, the way it looks right now. Is it cracking? Is it peeling? Or is it having any of those type of detail defects that we will have to alleviate right off the bat? Um, so those are the type of things that will affect the price as far as your front entry door. So for instance, in this instance, we see a door over here. Um, we see the hinges like really peeled on with paint. It has a ton of paint that has stuck on the hinges and stuff. Generally, if you want that to be refinished, that's also an option, um, but it will increase the price as far as painting the doors. Also consideration, how many sides, do you want to paint just one side of the door or the opposite side of the door as well? Um, those are considerations you have to take a look at as far as when it comes to pricing as far as that goes. But what causes um, the price to increase is basically just the level of detail that you have on the door. So if you have a lot of details on doors and stuff, then it probably might be a little bit more higher than something that's a plain door. So now let's just transition now going to the living room. That way we can explain more of the crown moldings and the walls. So here we have the medallion over here. Most homes don't really much have medallions in their ceilings, um, but just to, just to give a quick um, run around of what we charge for that. Um, if it's just basically painting or is it detailed? Um, if it's intricate details that we have to paint for, then that, that will probably charge up the, the price for that. 
The next thing that we probably want to do is the walls. The way we measure walls is through wall surface, which is how we get it is from the length, the width, and the height of the walls, and also the level of detail of how the wall finishes are. If the walls are smooth, are the walls um, bowing, meaning is it like wavy, or is it um, basically that, that needs um, any type of repair work that needs to be done for the walls. Um, those are the type of things that may affect the price for that. Then next will probably be the crown moldings. The crown moldings right up here will have everything, will be charged by linear foot. So depending on the surface area that you have around the, the area with the square footage, we can get the exact measurements of what it will cost to paint the crown moldings. Things, the factors that may affect the price for crown moldings is the size of the crown moldings. If it's a small or if it's a large crown moldings, it affects the price as far as that goes, the amount of paint that we have to use. Next, we will talk about the baseboards. Baseboards are more like the same thing. It's just the same, like the price varies also as well, depending on the size and the level of detail that you have on the base moldings. Um, so for in this instance, the, the base moldings are relatively larger than most homes have. Um, so this one will probably be more in the ups, upper echelon as far as pricing goes. Um, and then the following that after that will be the chair rails. If you do have chair rails also, um, some homes, again, some homes may not have that, but also we charge that by the linear foot as far as that goes. And also the level of detail that you want done to it. Is it severely damaged? Does it need to be replaced? Does, do you want to have um, different types of chair rails? There's a number of options that fluctuate the price as far as that goes. Um, but those are the type of things that affect the price as far as everything, as far as the medallion goes, as far as the walls, the baseboards, and the chair rails go. So now let's talk about the staircase. So things to consider when we do paint the staircase and we price the jobs are a couple of components in the staircase. One is the posts themselves, it's the caps that they have, and also the railing. If you want it to be refinished, um, those parts, if you do want to be refinished, it actually um, ups the price as far as wanting to be refinished, polyurethane again, or if you want to put a, a gloss paint on the railings, post caps, or on this parts. Also as well are the balusters, um, which are these parts over here on, on these parts. If you do want to get them refinished, painted, um, things that may affect the price as far as painting the balusters are the level of condition that they are in. If they're in pretty rough conditions and we would have to sand them down, put primer on them, and then put the top coat on top of it, those are the type of things that may up the price as far as that goes. As far as the steps goes, if you want the steps to be refinished, also as the risers and the treads, if you want those parts to be finished and painted, that's also gonna elevate the price as far as that goes, as far as the staircase goes. After that, I think that's all we have as far as painting everything. So in conclusion, we came throughout the whole house. So we gave you everything what to expect as far as painting your house, the walls, the ceilings, the trims, the crown moldings, etc. cetera. Um, typically for a price like this, for, for this house that we usually paint for, it's usually around the range of three to 450 a square foot. So that's three to $4.50 a square foot for the entire house to be painted. That, that's of wall surface, not square footage of floors, but the wall surface itself. Um, thank you for watching and really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe us and looking forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.